What's up guys, today we're going to be adding effect to the whole project using a free plugin which doesn't actually come with Final Cut Pro but I'll leave a link to it down below and you can download it for free. Here is my little sequence that I want to add a bunch of effects to like color grading and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is go up here to my titles tab, go to titles, adjustment layer and this is the free plugin so it comes with a long adjustment layer, medium and short. This is just the default length of the adjustment layer when you drag it into the timeline. So I'm gonna use a long one and then just extend it to cover my whole project because every, every effect I add to this now will affect what's underneath it. So, so I'm gonna add an effect to it. I'm gonna go over here to my effects tab, go to color and Let's add on custom LUT and just add, let's add a nice LUT onto this. Let's go for this one. And these LUTs can be found on my website. If you like the color grade, you can actually buy these off my website. I'll leave the link down below. This is from a new LUT pack that I've just released. So now this effect has been added to every single video clip, which is underneath uh, the adjustment layer. And this is really useful because I can just make changes to this and it will affect every single video clip. I don't have to go through and change them all individually. So if I just press V to disable this and turn it off, then now all of my video clips are back to normal. And then if I press V to enable it, it turns the color grade back on. And you can also add any effect to this. So if I add a, let's add a glitch effect, So this has added the glitch effect to all of uh, my video clips. And even if I'm adding effects to just one or two clips, I will still use adjustment layers because it just it's a really good way of just separating and organizing the edit that you're doing. And it's a really good habit to get into when you're editing. This is probably the best free plugin that you can get for Final Cut Pro. So I'd highly recommend downloading it. If you're looking for any extra effects or transition plugins, then check out my website. The link is down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.